Okay, I'm going to show you now the other way to do God's eyes. If the first way was not making any sense to you or you're having trouble, there's another way to do it. And usually if the first way doesn't work, the other way will. You start in the same way though. You can glue your sticks together or just fold them. And then you start the same way you did before by making sort of like an X. Hold that down and just go from this side to this side. And then now go under and across this way. You may have to turn it a little bit until you get an X. But once you get that X, now instead of just doing what I showed in the other video, just flip it over. And when you flip it over, you're going to, instead of trying to make a diamond pattern on the middle of the sticks, you're going to make a square around the outside. So you can see that I'm whole, I have a string at the top here. I'm going to go down and under the stick on my right and then I'm going to turn it one to the right and then I'm going to do that again go over and under the stick on the right and once I get it under I'm going to turn it again one stick to the right and then I just keep doing that over and under turn a new stick to the right over and under turn a new stick to the right over and under turn a new stick to the right and if you were getting like a pile on your diamond and it wasn't making like a flat diamond shape, this is probably a better way for you to do it because all you do is once you've got a new stick on the right, you just put, you're just going to keep adding a row out to the side of every one of these sticks. So see your square just gets bigger and you just lay it right neatly right there over and under new stick to the right, over and under new stick to the right. See how I'm laying it right next to that one that was already there in the square. I'll lay it right next to that. Over and under, turn one stick to the right. Over and under, turn one stick to the right. And you can see that I'm just always putting it to the right of those other rows of string that I have. And it's just getting fatter and fatter as I go around. And you're just going to be so surprised when I turn this over. Go ahead and keep going here. Again, I'm always just laying it right to the side. Over, under, a new stick to the right. Over, under, a new stick to the right. A lot of times if you're left-handed, um, this way makes sense to you better. But of course, instead of spinning with your right hand, you would be turning to the left with your left hand. I'm sorry I'm not left-handed, so I tried to show it before I'm just not very good at that but um, you just keep going I always really admire left-handed people because they're so good at figuring out what us right-handed people were doing but they're not always very good at explaining it so you're gonna really be able to see it now I'm flip it over and I've got this other color on there all right now look and see see how it's looking just like my other one did except I'm working on the back side. Now, if you're worried about what's gonna happen with these like little things that are sticking out, you can just pull those to the back, those little knots. Sometimes they come up on the front and you just pull them through to the back and get them out of the way. They'll be fine. All right, come back to the next video and I'll show you how to end them.